everybody, I'm at the Disneyland Resort in Anaheim, California. It's the Friday after Labor Day and I decided to take the day off to come visit Disneyland and I'm gonna show you around today. So I'm in the plaza now between the two parks. There goes the monorail. Um, that's the Disneyland park across the way right there. We're waiting for it to open. It's a little bit before 9 a.m. And then across the plaza here, that's Disney's California Adventure. That's the other park here at the Disneyland Resort. So they start letting people through the turnstile a little before the park actually opens and you can walk up Main Street and do all the Main Street stuff uh, before the park actually opens, uh, about a half an hour early. So that's where we're at now. We're, we could uh, shop on Main Street, get some food, coffee, stuff like that. We have about 15 minutes before the park uh, opens, so I think I might grab breakfast at Carnation Cafe, which is suggested to me by my friend Rob. So I got my table at Carnation Cafe. It's still before the park opens, and they've already got me with coffee and a ham and cheese omelet. We're done with breakfast. I'm gonna see if I can get over to Frontierland and get on Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Um, I booked a fast pass for Space Mountain in a few minutes as well. So walking um, now uh, towards Splash Mountain. It's actually gotten pretty warm. It's not even 9.30 yet and it's already pretty warm. So I don't mind getting a little wet this early in the morning. So I'm gonna run to the standby line for Splash Mountain, which is another one of my favorite rides. I'm on Splash Mountain now and for the first time ever, I'm totally by myself in this log flume. I guess that's the benefit of coming early in the morning when it's warm and getting here before tons of people get to the park. So um, yeah, here we go. All right, I think we got our first drop coming up here. People about to go on this one. Here we go. Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh. Man, got a little wet on that already. We got our first indoor scene after that drive. As we approach the Space Mountain Ghost Galaxy, got some stormtroopers here. Come here. Thank you for supporting the First Order. Wait. Just walked off. Uh, Space Mountain Ghost Galaxy. A great ride. I'm not able to take you on it because it's pretty much pitch black in there, but basically indoor roller coaster, complete pitch black. The Ghost Galaxy element to it is that the projections that are up on the walls and the sound and everything, a little bit more spooky. There's like a character that's like a, like a goblin or something that's coming at you and stuff. Uh, still tons of fun. All right, I got one of my favorite snacks at Disneyland. Pineapple Dole Whip. It's like soft serve ice cream, but it's pineapple flavored. It is amazing. I'm not gonna let this thing uh, melt anymore, so I'm just gonna go ahead and eat it. So I'm gonna make a stop here at Pirates of the Caribbean. There's a new scene, or they changed the scene, where it used to be a woman being auctioned off. They've now uh, uh, turned that woman into a female pirate, and she's running the auction. In fact, right there behind me, they've got the character out here. They call her Red. Uh, so I'm gonna see that new scene, or the, the modified scene, for the first time. Let's take a look. All right, so it's about midday. Uh, I've done a ton in Disneyland Park. I'm back out on Main Street. I got uh, Sleeping Beauty's Castle behind me. Um, I am gonna head over to uh, Disney's California Adventure. Uh, I have a fast pass now for uh, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, which is one of my, another one of my favorite rides. Um, it's really thrilling. I won't be able to take you on it because it's uh, a little hard to uh, video, um, but uh, I'll show you around a little bit uh, when I get over there. So the three things I love at California Adventure are Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, which it just went on, um, and I also love Cars, Radiator Springs Racers. It's a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get to go on that. And then 
California Screamin', which shut down and reopened as Incredicoaster as part of Pixar Pier. I haven't been on it since it became Incredicoaster. It's essentially the same ride. I'm gonna see if I can get on it. It's looking like it's down right now. Uh, so I'm gonna try to, before I go home, either get on the Editor Springs Racers, the Cars ride, or uh, get on Incredicoaster if it opens back up. We'll see what we got here. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's starting to get uh, afternoon time a little bit warmer, getting a little bit more crowded. Um, but still like not not that bad um, you know not too long of a wait for stuff so uh, let's see how we do and let's go check out Pixar Pier so here we are approaching uh, the new Pixar Pier it used to be Paradise Pier um, and then they just basically reskinned everything to make it a uh, Pixar movie theme there's already a Toy Story Midway Mania here and then they reskinned the California Screaming as a credit coaster and then they, they rethemed pretty much everything else. Like this year's Lamp Light Lounge, this used to be a uh, Little Mermaid themed restaurant before, if I remember correctly. So it's a really cute new area to check out, although it is essentially the same as Paradise Pier if you've been here before. All right, so uh, roller coaster uh, sitting like that is not a good sign for us getting on it anytime soon. That's too bad. If you're a fan of Inside Out, uh, Anger has a whole uh, hot dog booth. We got the Angry Dog, which is a spicy all beef hot dog, and a slightly annoyed dog with like that small bag of chips there. So, Anger themed hot dogs here at Pixar Pier. Alright, boss! Ah, gotta change it up, man. Gotta change it up. How you doing? Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Behind me is what used to be a Bugs Land and is now going to become a Marvel Land, uh, kind of a Marvel area here at California Adventure. That's a new development. Um, they just closed a Bugs Land a couple days ago and they're starting to work on Marvel Land there behind me. So let's uh, go and take a look at what's going on in Cars Land now. So this is Cars Land here at California Adventure. Um, nice uh, sizable area here. All related to the Cars franchise. A uh, big popular thing here is Radiator Springs Racers, which is uh, the thrill ride that's at the end of the road here. And there are plenty of um, stores and restaurants and little smaller rides for younger kids along the way here as well. Uh, I'm going to walk to uh, Radiator Springs Racers to see if they're uh, going again yet. All right, so Radiator Springs is open again. Um, I'm on the single rider line, so it's a little bit faster, usually a little bit faster if you're on your own because they'll stick you with the, let's say if there's a, a two people together, uh, they'll put you in the third spot. They also gave me one of these, which is to track the amount of time it takes for me to get through. So let's get on Radiator Springs Racers now.
on uh, Radiator Springs Racers, I guess they had just uh, reopened it. That's one of my favorite rides. If you know Disney World, it's a lot like Test Track. It's the same ride mechanic, except um, you race against someone at the end as opposed to just kind of speeding outside at the end of Test Track. All right, I'm stopping for lunch. I got a corn dog. Go. All right, and I want to show you one more staple from the Disney diet. That's the churro. Mmm, so good. So I only have about an hour or so left here at Disneyland. I'm still in California Adventure. Um, I'm by the Incredicoaster. It's actually it, it, the they're running the machine now. The the cars are going on the track. Uh, one after another. There's no one on it yet, so it's not open, but I'm just hanging out here in case they do open it before I have to go. I've got a little spot in the shade here, and I'm watching them uh, at the gate. Uh, they keep turning people away for now, but hopefully they'll start uh, letting passengers or letting people back on. Let's see. All right, I'm giving up on trying to ride in Credit Coaster. They're still testing it. They said likely to be at least an hour before they start uh, taking people on it, so uh, that doesn't give me enough time to ride it on this trip, but it means next time I'm here, I'll be able to get to go on that. So that was my uh, Disneyland day. I got a ton done in both the Disneyland Park and California Adventure. Um, it pays off to come on a weekday, pays off to come in first thing in the morning. Uh, definitely when school starts, it's a lot lighter uh, traffic around here and you get a lot done and it's a lot of fun. Um, I also do recommend coming on your own if you ever want to. There's, there's no shame in being by yourself here at Disneyland. In fact, it can be a lot of fun. Um, I'm glad I was able to take you along with me to check it out. Um, I know I haven't posted videos in a long time, but I figured I might as well send a quick update as long as I'm doing something fun. And maybe uh, if there's a good reaction, I'll post more of what's going on uh, with my life, with technology, and so on and so forth. So thanks for joining me on this trip, and I'll see you soon.